Hello, social workers across the state of Florida and other places. Um, my name is Dr. Hugh Clark, and I'm the MSW Program Coordinator at Florida Gulf Coast University, and I'm uh, joining you today um, as, a, a, as an a invitee to uh, give you some words of encouragement during this time of uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, regarding physical care while we're uh, doing the social isolation and staying at home and things like that. Um, I appreciate the opportunity and I certainly appreciate that all that you are doing uh, as you are working in the field, um, working from home, doing telehealth, uh, telecare for all the people who need it during this absolutely crazy time. But I want to take just a few moments to talk to you about physical uh, health care, self care. Uh, as we go through this together. Um, so one of the first things that I want to talk about, and uh, this is, comes with a disclaimer, I am not a fitness guru. Um, I have never um, uh, called myself that. I used to run many, many miles uh, in one day and in a week and things years ago, but that was back when I was much younger. I played a lot of tennis, but those days uh, have left me, but I still try to take care of myself physically, and that's what we want to talk about today. Um, and in light of that, I want to talk about taking care of yourself through exercise. We all need to be doing some exercise during this time, not just sitting at home, uh, sitting on the sofa, and uh, being totally inactive. We need to be getting out. Uh, and you have to decide what works best for you in order to provide that exercise for yourself. For myself, I find that walking two, three, four miles a day, sometimes a little bit more, is a very therapeutic uh, kind of activity as well as a way for me to stay physically fit. Um, so every morning uh, with my neighbor, she and I get out and we will walk uh, at least three miles. Sometimes I'll go four. Um, there've been a couple of times that I've even gone up to seven uh, when I really was feeling energetic. But you have to decide what kind of exercise exercise is going to work best for you. Um, the main thing is to get out and take care of yourself physically. Um, everything I've read shows that physical uh, health is a uh, protector against this particular virus uh, and protect, it's a protector against so many other things as well. So if you like yoga, if you like uh, Zumba or all those, all those other kinds of things. There are all kinds of opportunities that are being offered for free online these days that you can take part in. And I um, encourage you to find what works for you to stay physically active, but to get out of the uh, uh, office and to uh, do what is right for you. Um, stretch yourself a little bit to move beyond what you've been doing uh, normally, uh, unless you are fairly uh, physically active. So, uh, so physical activity is really important for us. Another thing that is important for us as we think about our physical health is diet. And we need to maintain a balanced uh, diet during this time it would be so easy to fall into a trap of stress eating of the, you know, our comfort foods, chips, and for me, ice cream, um, that would uh, tend to counteract any activity that we do. Uh, so one of the things that I try to do is keep some fresh fruit uh, nearby when I'm at my home, which I am right now, or even at my office. Um, and fresh vegetables, 
uh, to, to maintain a balanced diet, um, finding the right things, not eating too much, although I still tend to do that a little bit. And <clears throat> so uh, as you think about planning out your shopping, try to uh, take the time to think, okay, what would I like that is healthy for me? Uh, whole grains, fruit, vegetables, uh, you know, a moderate amount of proteins uh, are always healthy. And so uh, those are things we can do to maintain our physical health. Another thing about diet that I think is absolutely critical is good old hydration. Now this is empty right now, but when I'm walking, when I'm uh, sitting at my desk, normally I have a glass of water next to me. So water, fruit juices, those things that hydrate the body are really important. We, uh, if we're not drinking and eating properly, then uh, our physical health could really deteriorate. So take the time to think about what you're eating, what you're drinking, and, um, you know, of course, moderation for uh, all things is important. Moderation for alcohol, not moderation for caffeine. Uh, I admit I have a couple cups of coffee every morning, and uh, that's my, uh, my guilty pleasure. And then the rest of the time I try to drink either water, and I have it at the office, some flavored water that makes it taste a little bit better, still zero calories, it's just water with a little bit of flavoring in it. Uh, eat, eating fruits and vegetables, those kinds of things are really important. Another thing that um, I keep reading about and understand the importance of is inside your house, and if I were at my office, I would have brought my little green friend, my plant uh, that I have in my office, that we uh, take the time to think about bringing a plant um, in and maybe a peace lily or something along those lines, a small ficus, because the research shows that they help clean the air, they provide oxygen into the air, they clean out some of the, the impurities in the air and help us with our breathing and everything else in terms of the environment in the house or in the office. So those are just a few little things that are um, ways that we can manage our physical self-care during this time of COVID-19. We're all under a lot of stress. Uh, I'm teaching virtually now, which is very different from uh, a lot of what I have normally done over my uh, career. Uh, people are working from home. People are staying home. So the stress is incredibly uh, hard on all of us. And the physical fitness, physical self-care helps to relieve stress. One thing I would advise no matter what, instead of just sitting at your desk for eight hours in a row, get up and get away from the desk for a short period of time. Take a short walk, maybe take a longer walk if you have the time, but get away, allow yourself to relax and take some time away from the computer. And again, if you like yoga, if you like exercise classes, there are lots of good opportunities for that. I encourage you to take those opportunities uh, and do that, take a walk, maybe a run if you're up to it, uh, play some tennis if you can do that right now, uh, whatever works for you, along with a good diet, getting plenty of sleep, getting plenty of sleep, and also uh, maintaining balance, physical balance, mental balance, spiritual balance, all of those things, they all fit together and during this time, we need to be balanced so we can help those people who need our help as social workers. So again, thank you for all you're doing. Thank uh, uh, Florida State for doing this. 
and providing us some opportunity to think about how we can take care of ourselves. Again, you are out there doing great things, helping a lot of people, and that is so important. So thank you and uh, take care of yourselves as you go through uh, the work you're doing, whether it's at home, in your office, or however, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye now.